see a lot of young people enjoying the joys of electronic gaming. Yeah. I've heard a new study now, Holmes. I've told you this earlier, but um, I've heard a new study that uh, people in general, uh, like in schools and stuff, are gaming an average two hours a day. Well, if you add up all the app usage, mm. I imagine I meet that standard myself, and I'm not in school. Me too, brother. Me too, brother. But, uh, but we don't have school, and what are we doing everyday life? As little as possible. Yes. We are going in there for uh, game, game, uh, game uh, number two. I gotta say, Axel is really... Oh, he's going for the probe. Yeah. <laughs> and to the right, upper right corner, we got our Protoss player, Vadpad. Wiftpad. Will you introduce the other player? Well, he's playing under the, a pseudonym today, as he can't be bothered to log out. Hold on, hold the telephone. He's still cheating again, mm. letting a little ear slip out. It's Axel. Okay, let's go into this game. I will say one thing about this map. It's hell for Protoss, this map. So because of this, you see this choke point? It's heaven for for uh, Ling, uh, Ling uh, to run by. Let's have a little look at this overlord. This oh, overlord is, oh. is going directly and Axel is... going for a little walk Axel, or fly. Axel is really, uh, really uh, lucky with his spawning posi positions. You gotta see here the way Protoss have to go. He's gotta go so far to get to Axel, which is all the way up here. So it's almost impossible to get to Axel. It's a really far distance from this base. This is a 2v2 map? No, this is actually a 3v3 map. So I don't know why the Protoss want to, um, to uh, play on that because Protoss is really good when it comes to small choke points and uh, splash damage when he got the Colossus out and stuff like that. But as a Is Zerg, he going for an expansion here? I think so, yes. He's going actually before pool, I think. Yeah, let's get the production knife tab up. Uh, production pad, you can see here he's going hatchery going down. first. Hatchery go down. Hatchery go down, is the hatchery first. And it's, it's continuing probing. I will imagine... Yeah, you can see here pa uh, Pod got um, got some early gas. Going for the standard subnetic score, making sure he's not getting supply blocked. He's really good on his supply. And I would imagine him going for the same sim city as he did last time which is really important and, and good when it is a big is map he holding like the point here? No, he's, I don't know where it is. Yeah, he's, he's holding the point there. And the, actually the Overlord is going into to, uh, to You can see Axel maneuvering his Overlord. Some little Axel space. Uh, and, Axel space. Uh, yeah. And he's going for the spawning pool now. You can see he's going for his gas, but he's uh, also uh, expanding. Well, what's happening here? No, his pad is going for uh, for a scout. He's gonna get spotted. Uh, the scout? Yes. Yeah, maybe, but that's not so important. It's uh, just important for him to see where his uh, friend is spawning and um, to see where his base is and to get the scout on the the, the gas and stuff like this. Yeah, where he wants it. His place? Yeah, he's, he's putting on gateways. This shows that he wants to do aggression. He's putting down three gateways in total of the one he had before. That means. Is this, is this? Is he laid down a pylon? Yes, yes, he sneaked in a pylon. Can't tell that to Axel. We can't tell it too loud. And but he's this gone is over a here. sneaky move. And, and, he's, and another pylon? Yes, he's got a backup plan as well. He sneaked in the probe. This will not. Axel will not see this. And he's going heavy on the four gate aggression. And this. This will be, and it's, you can see his chrono boosting out his, uh, his warp gate technology. Let's go back to these, have a look at these pylons. Oh man, is this oh, overload is this gonna coming? spot? Is this overload gonna spot? Let's see the vision of Axel. Axel, vision. Yeah, he spots it. He spots it, but he hasn't spotted the second one. And will he, will, will he, go back to will he, will he, will he react to it? my question. Let's have a look at the fight. No, he's not reacting to it. He's just standing here, well, knowing that nothing is happening. But it, instead he's got sellers in the base. But, but it... Oh man, he's got to pull it some probes here. As well. Yeah, but he's got great micro defense. And speed is about to finish, as you can see here. Let's have a look I'm at this. Starting. Uh, someone here. Yeah. 
Oh yes, Axel have to go home and defend. This is heavy aggression. And he, and and what part like, is really like. doing great damage here. And he's hit a timing. There Axel. Because the queen. The queen is gone. No defense at home. This can be a base. Ding ding, the queen is dead. Long live the king. No, but he's got to go back to Manning. Major misclick. And Axel is using a lot of probes. And he's seen this now. Yeah, Ax, Ax I, can is hear, I can hear the cry of defeat from Axel. And, and Pad oh. Padis. Oh! And GG is called! GG is called! <laughs> he didn't react to the pylons, it's his own fault. Do you scout the pylon, Alex? Yeah? <laughs> Axel now admits he did not see the pylon, even though he had an overlord above it. The, 